any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Is Nick gonna be okay? Yes, the connections appear to be stable. Hopefully, it'll be as simple as unplugging the implant once we're done. But that doesn't get around the current problem. The memory encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. All right. Let's get started. Just sit down over there, and keep your fingers crossed. So the odds of failure are... <laughs> okay, well I guess we're gonna, we're gonna delve into Kellogg's memories. I think how I'm gonna do this is uh, just go through, not not click on or not uh, select anything to get an extra backstory on it. Just go through the narrative. Um, we can skip almost the entire thing if we wanted to, but uh, it's worth getting getting some of the story in case you guys wanna wanna see or hear it. Bingo. Well, it looks like we picked up Grognak and the Ruby Ruins. That is a entire game on its own. So much knowledge was lost when the bombs hit. Good to see someone trying to bring it back. Oh, thanks, Nick. <laughs> as you're as you're about to be invaded, let's go. Let's do this. I love I love these first person animations so much. This looks awfully familiar. Is this is this Pod Vault Tech? We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Can you hear me? Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. Oh boy. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. I also like the overall design of this place. What is this? Is this like a neuron background? Is that what that is? Yeah, oh. Remember, you are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. Turn down the goddamn radio! I'm trying to sleep! New California Republic. All five states have now signed on, which means that as of this moment, we are all citizens of the new California Republic. I'm sure that's going to take some getting used to for a lot of people. Mm, what a joke. What's it mean, Mom? Nothing, Connie. People like to talk and hope someone else is going to keep them safe. Teacher at school said the NCR would bring back the good old days. Like before the big war. Don't you listen to that twaddle. I'm going to stop sending you if that's what they're teaching you. I'm going out. Where the fuck did you put my boots? Listen to me, Connie. You take this. You're old enough. You're the man of the family now. It's your job to protect us. Your father's useless, but you won't turn out like him. You're a good boy. Well, they sure picked the right person for that job. Listen, it's gonna be great here. See this? This is what's gonna keep you and Mary safe. I promise. I know, Connie. I'm sure we're going to be really happy here. We are. You'll see. That's okay. I got it. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And, uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job is done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it. I'm working for you. There's no more problem. 
what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. Systems offline. Hmm. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Anything but this one. Nobody should live through this again. Manual override initiated. Cryogenic stasis suspended. I'm not giving you Sean! God damn it. Get the kid out of here and let's go. At least we still have the backup. What's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. X688. Ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Bye. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. And we're back. Slow movements, okay? I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had. No one's ever done this before. How do you feel? Next time I have to watch someone's life story, I want popcorn. Well, if you're cognizant enough to joke, I think we can safely say that you're out of critical condition. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? There's more than one person who knows about the Institute. Virgil, that scientist who escaped. I didn't know Institute scientists could defect. This changes everything. He could answer all sorts of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That can't be right. No one would risk going there. Not even to hide. That's why he's there. To make the Institute think twice about following him. That must be it. He's using the radiation in the glowing sea like a shield or a cloak. A way to throw them off and be at an advantage. If Virgil found a way to survive there, you'll have to do the same. If you're going to follow him. Oh, I'm going in naked. Fingers crossed I get superpowers. I know you're joking, but as a doctor, I feel obligated to remind you that unprotected radioactive exposure will only kill you. Dead. D-E-A-D. So be sure you find a way to get through there with your life intact. And good luck. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Removed the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Alright. Well now, it looks like we can head out. And our next location to explore is going to be the Glowing Sea. And step into our power armor again here. And go talk to Nick, see how he's doing after the procedure. Because he was the one that had stuff plugged into him. I was just a spectator, even though even if those memories were traumatic the first time. Thanks, Doctor Amari. I wish I wish we could take some of this stuff. I really do. Nick, hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. You want to try for round two? Let's go. What? What are you talking about? Wait. Were you just playing a joke on me? I guess that's for you to wonder and for me and Kellogg's memories to know for sure. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. 
I'm gonna head out on my own from here, Nick. Good luck out there. You know where to find me. All right, awesome, awesome. So to the glowing sea, then. We have a full set of power armor. Ellie needs to talk to us. We should head back to the office next chance we get. Oh, yeah, that's probably for the uh, <laughs> for the Far Harbor quests. No biggie, no biggie. So I figure it might be a good idea to go trade things really quick, get rid of this of this fat man that I no longer need. So we must speak to Cleo. Hello, Cleo. Hey, hey, Cleo. I hope you're buying. Even a girl with an arsenal full of weapons needs to make a living, after all. We got ourselves some extra 308 rounds. And we should probably travel back to... <laughs> we probably should travel back to Red Rocket and see about... Uh-oh, we're under attack. What better time to test out Kellogg's pistol? Maybe, if we are able to get to them. Okay, here we go. There we go. Boom! That 44 ammo is so lovely. And we get all of our we get all of our AP back as a result. I might, man, I'm gonna have to count shots a lot more often. Okay, so anyway. We got Kellogg's pistol. We got it modified a little bit with some extra sights. So we can be more accurate here. Let me just throw some things throw some things in the, the box really quick. We have Kato's 10mm, which is just a basic 10mm pistol with a bunch of modifications. And then we have Kellogg's pistol, which uh, uh, refreshes AP every time we score a critical hit, which is amazing for a crit character. And we also have the forward timer, which is the two-shot rifle, the two-shot hunting rifle. And uh, that's what we that's what we have, and we also, of course, have the power armor. We're going to need that when we go to the uh, the glowing sea, which is our next objective. So let's go ahead and do that, shall we? Here we are at the Greater Mass Blood Clinic. This is the closest location to the glowing sea. There it is, way down there. And uh, one of the questions that uh, came along with with uh, the adventuring that we're doing is if I'm going to use power armor and just explore for an episode. And I think this is that episode. I don't know. I I record in sessions, not episodes. So, <laughs> I can record up to, uh, like, four episodes in one session, uh, and that's, that's, that's only if uh, I, I do a little bit of limited editing, though, because uh, I record up to, like, an hour and a half, maybe an hour and 45 minutes. I think that was the longest session I've ever done. But yeah, uh, we are going to wander around and do some, do some cool things here in this, in this lovely suit of power armor, down towards the glowing sea see what the sea has to offer, I guess. I was kind of hoping to have a uh, 50 caliber receiver for the four-timer. Oh boy. Vicious mongrel. Hmm. Let's bust out Kellogg's pistol. See what, <laughs> see what we can do with this. Torso. Oh, I guess, I guess we can't do much because we sprinted too much. None of that. There we go. There we go. Okay, there, there it is. All right. Don't move. Don't move. Well, pacify doesn't work, does it? Not with dogs. It's always with the dogs. It's nice that they can't get that uh, that critical kill on me when I'm wearing power armor because the animation won't play through. Um, the I think the only enemy to player animations, which I love by the way, uh, I want to see more of those uh, in future Bethesda games. Um, kind of like the kill moves, but but just like, you know how Death Claws can like throw you in power armor, like on the ground and stuff like that? Stuff like that. It's really awesome. Uh, I might be able to show, show that animation to you guys, uh, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what we encounter when we get to the uh, get to the glowing sea. But yeah, uh, I, I hope to I hope to use Kellogg's pistol a bit more. But I, like I was saying, I, I really really want to find a 50 caliber receiver. Um, oh, 
And then, uh, yeah, this this iBot, <laughs> this uh, random encounter iBot shows up sometimes uh, and marks Cambridge Polymer Labs on your on your map. Well, we can tell how this guy left the world. This guy or lady. Um, at least they had some good cigars before that. Okay. Oh! It's a death claw. <laughs> Shoot it in the belly. There we go. There we go. Well, the death claw took care of it for me. I was worried. There we go. And now we got all our AP back, so we can switch back, right? And the belly is at 2%. Um, let's see what we... <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh boy. I hope this death claw can't fit through the wall. I'm glad we're wearing power armor at this point, too. Oh, death claw. Oh dear. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's a behemoth down there, too. This is about to get really exciting. Kellogg's pistol doesn't seem to be doing that much. And, well... There's the, there's the behemoth. Oh, that one's a skull. Oh boy. Well, here's a battle. There's a battle going on. Did you get it? Ah! <laughs> no, not me. Not me too. Let's see, what, what can we do about this behemoth? Well, we save first, and we have frag grenades. There's one. Uh, probably didn't do anything. Nope. So can we just, can we just shoot the behemoth in the face? Could be a cheapo. We're gonna have to. Yep. Yep. There we go. And one more grenade. Oh, now he's <laughs> now he's having a real hard time. And can we hit him? That's the question. Can we hit him with our two shot? Now, learned a lot of interesting things about the uh, about the two shot weapon. That uh, the the second bullet only has base damage. And is unmodifiable. So when you get uh, perks and abilities, or perks and, and things that increase it, um, that second bullet doesn't get any of the modifiers. So it doesn't do as much damage as, as you would think. Fucking cow! Yep, that's what's gonna happen. I hope. <laughs> I know we're being cheap, I know it. I know we're being cheap. Oh, we're out of 10 millimeter. Where you going, bud? Ooh, with Lucky Clover. Oh my goodness. That was neat. Let's do it again. Shoot the body. And the head. There we go. Ooh, another lucky clover. Nice. Wait, what? I hear missiles. Pick me up. Pick me up, guys. Pick me up. I will gladly serve. <laughs> no, I don't know if we're going to go with the Brotherhood of Steel this time. I'm not quite sure. But we did find out what we needed to find out, so we have to return to Nick Valentine 
and uh, tell them we killed Cal.